This is a video regarding the uh, old GBG panels and some of the problems that you can have with them including dirty pots um, and more, most particular with the fader itself. Um, it, if, when it's dirty or, or old it can cause erratic um, action as can be seen. This is a panel that I've just got in to modify for somebody and if you have a look as I move the fader across you'll see it starts to jump there it jumps like that. Now that's um, not good. Um, now the interesting thing about these these panels is um, if you apply pressure in that direction, you'll get a you'll get a much smoother uh, control because it's actually pushing the 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 lever inside the pot up against the carbon that's causing the fade, and you'll get a much smoother one. So if I do that, you'll see that. It, gives us a much smoother um, fade but if I do the opposite if I move it that way you see what happens here I'm pushing it hard the other way and um, well, it's not going to do it for me there it goes so it's jumping and that's not good because that's just sending a load of data out to the um, to the ATM which um, could overload it now on the um, on the uh, Telnet screen, I have a special diagnostics routine uh, where you can um, um, display the pots. I'm just going to type in the special code and um, after it um, gives me a control. And there, there it is now. What this is displaying here. Um, this is displaying a long line and as I move the fader you'll see the line comes down. There's me moving the fader and as I move the fader this, this is just displaying a, a graph of the position of the fader. Now if you um, just move the window in a bit it'll cause it to do a line repeat and let's do it like that and now when I do it it actually will now give you uh, repeating lines and now you see how that's a nice and even stair step is because I'm doing it pushing the the fader across now you see these little jumps here they're um, uh, they're still the fact that the fader itself is still a bit dirty now again I'm still pushing over to the right to get as smooth a read as possible I'm not doing it very linear either but now if I push the pull the knob to the left you'll see the stark difference between them See the big jumps in there? That's just showing you that the, the, the reading off the T-bar is just not uh, smooth enough. Now what I'm going to have to do with this particular um, fader, or the, the pot inside the um, inside here, I'm going to have to pull it out, clean it. Um, and obviously because of the moving the, that way and that way, I've got to retention the um, the spring inside the, the pot, uh, and again, yeah, you can get somebody to do that for you. You can do it yourself, or just go and buy a new a new pot. Some people have done that and quite and been quite successful with it. But there, there it is, just an example again, just moving the fader, and that theoretically should be nice and smooth. And you can do this same readout for um, uh, all the pots uh, to get uh, to get them nice and smooth. 